back ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy FSB, back for episode 2, as you can tell by the title, building the team and the rival appears. So, I haven't done much since the last episode, so we're all going to start off fresh. Now we've got Pokeballs and I'm correct in saying we've got 5, so let's just have a quick check. No Pokeballs, why well, have I got no Pokeballs? That's weird, I thought I had Pokeballs. No. I thought he gives you Pokeballs. By the looks of it, don't mean I'm going to have to start finding our team members. As much as I want to fight Pokemon right now, and I just jinx myself. <sighs> oh look, a Pidgey. I don't know about most people who play this game back when they first got it in the 90s, but I always got Pidgey because I liked having Pidgeot. Even though most of the time I got to Pidgeotto and then got didn't use it anymore just because it just took too long to grind. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't get a certain Pokemon like Gengar, Alexam, Alexam, Alakazam, you know, Machoke. Can't get any of the trade Pokemon, unfortunately. That's fine. But at least with red, we get Pokemon like Growlithe, Weaving Bell, even though I prefer Bell Sprout. But it doesn't matter. I prefer Growlithe. If I get a fire Pokemon, I want it to be Growlithe. But we can get Electric Buzz. So, which is a good electric Pokemon. So, we're going to fight this Pidgey. We outspeed it, which is lovely. That's what we're going to do. Oh, great damage. Now, Gust in this game, ladies and gentlemen, is a normal move, not a flying move anymore. So, it's not super effective. If it was, that'd be that her like a mofo. Crit. We hope we don't get it when we start catching. And we don't want to get too high of level where we start killing everything one shot. Now it's not too bad if we get to a high enough level. Oh, two battles. Now I understand where the first rival is. Now this isn't a mandatory battle with the rival, but we're not ready yet, because if my memory serves me correct, he has a level 7 Pidgey and a level 9 Charmander. And if Charmander's level 9, it will definitely have Ember, and it will most likely one-shot me. So I need to get a few team members. Bulbasaur can take care of the Pidgey, but the other team members are going to have to whittle down his Charmander. So Bulbasaur can literally knock it out. <clears throat> but let's go. If I'm correct in saying, you can get Nidor and Mal over Nido and Fimo. You might be able to get both, but we can get a Nido King. And we could get a Nido King by the time we get to Electron Le Le Lieutenant Surge, which will be nice because it's part of ground, so we'll avoid electrical moves. Now, Bols, I would say I'd catch a uh, Pikachu in Viridian Forest. Because we've got Bulbasaur, no need. Bulbasaur's going to carry us. He's actually good up until, what, past the third Jimmy resists electrics, but obviously we'll get there when we get there. Let's just concentrate on what we're doing. Level eight, well hey. Now I know Bulbasaur and like all the starts evolved at 16, but Bulbasaur does evolve into his final form, Venusaur, by the time he gets to level 32, where the others will still be in their minor stage, so. Not going to go here, we're just going to get straight to the Pokeballs. We're going to get five, we're going to catch our team. I will do a little bit of grind this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's get one, two, three. Let's get some. Ah, uh, what the hell, get ten. Now. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, I know there's Pokemon to the side, which worries me because Spearow is over there. And Spearow has Peck. Peck is super effective against Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur will die. So let's just start with here. Let's see what we can get here. Who's joining our team? Ratata. What level are you, Ratata? Nope, I want a level 3. 
See how much damage uh, Tackle does to this Rattata. Probably enough to put Pokeball it, but I'm not going to because he's level 2. And I don't want to grind from level 2 upwards. If I can get level 3 Rattata, I'll catch it. Level 4 would be fantastic. Level 3, there we go. Let's go catch ourselves. Gonna just leech it now. Let's leech seed him, get a bit of health. He's probably gonna tackle me. Yep, it's fine. I can do with the energy back. Now, I'm just gonna tackle him. Now he's doing a lot of damage and I'm only getting a little bit left from now. I'm just gonna growl him down. So eventually his damage will do less and we'll get equal amount of health back. 256 glitch. And that's why leech life is amazing. Now I won't be using any tips or hacks like the badge boost glitch. I've got a rough idea how it works, but I'm old school, so I just do it the old school way, which is level up, level up, power on through. Okay. He's nice and in the lid. Pokeball, go! Get the ball right there. Yes. Red Star was caught. Which is good. That's just fine. Bites anything when it attacks. Small. Quick. And is a common sight in many places. Yeah. That's up the X. Want to give a a name? No, if it was a boy, I would. If I do um, a Nuzlocke, ladies and gentlemen, I will be doing a Nuzlocke most likely on Leaf Green rather than this because this game will take me forever. Let's see what else we can catch. <clears throat> Pidgey. What level are you, Pidgey? Level 3. Lovely. It's what we want to see. Now. Just gonna tackle it because Pidgey's got quite weak defense. Now, if we get a crit, it will die, but I'm hoping not to. Lovely. I will leave battle animations on, ladies and gentlemen, for the whole play play playthrough, just because it's just might as well. Oh, I knew he'd catch it. If he didn't, I'd be a bit annoyed. Okay. The tiny bird. So I've been quite lazy on. Just I got nothing funny to see. <clears throat> Okay, we've got two team members. Let's go back, heal them up. Now, I will have to grind them a little bit to get them strong enough, but I'm going to catch more members. Plus, Bolson is going to need a little bit of healing. I said.
Now, if I remember correctly, up around the back here, ladies and gentlemen, is another potion. I know that guy, when you first come to Virgin, you can't uh, say you can't get past him, he's laying on the ground. He'll teach you how to catch a Pokemon, which I will not be doing. Because I don't want to, because I never had to play the game. I will be expanding into other games, guys, but I has Pokemon. Oh, I need your own mail. Sweet. They're all three. Lovely. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a level four in here. But I'll take a level three. That was a good hit. Now, I really don't want to kill it. Lovely. Come to me. Now, this was a Nuzlocke. I would have a Rattata and a Nidoran Mail by now, which is fine. Three Pokemon, Nidoran Mail and Double Kick, which is also against Brock. So I know I'm safe for the first gym at least. There'd be no deaths. Nope. Let's see what else we can get in here, ladies and gentlemen. If I don't use Pidgey or Rattata, you'll understand why. Oh, a Spearow. Now, Spearow's good. Level 5. Oh, nice Spearow level. Now, his peck is going to hurt massively. So we're going to have to hurt it very quickly. Good shot. As you can see, 11 damage. That could be a range hit. It could kill Bulbasaur. I'd rather him not kill Bulbasaur. Now, item, Pokeball. Yes, we've got a Spirit, and it's level 5, so we don't have to do much grinding. If I'm right in saying I believe you can get Mankey in here as well. heal up so epi most episodes will be at least 20 to 30 minutes long ladies and gentlemen I will do an hour special here and there so what I do that'd be fine most videos near enough not if not all of them will more than likely be posted every Friday. I'll try and get at least one video a week if I can get two. Great. But I'll promise you now I'll get at least one video of this out every week. Okay. So let's see our Pokemon. Lovely. Nearly got a full team already. Now Spearow's quite high. Spearow's going to be great against Charmander. So I'm going to swap him. And level him up because we're going to need him against now. All I'm going to do at the moment, ladies and gentlemen, is grind up, train up Spearow, none, none of the others, for the simple fact that Brock's going to need a lot, a lot, a lot of grinding. Bulbasaur's going to be my main person. More like my solo. I don't want to be over leveled. But I know without Vine Whip, we will not win the battle against Brock. Why General Brock is easier, so if anything, can be harder to beat than Remake of Fire Red.
Oh, it didn't do much damage. Strong looking Pidgey. Oh, wow, what a crit. <sighs> Gen 1 had some of the best TMs. Wish we could bring them back, but then that's why I stopped doing trade overs. I mean, no guard Fisher, Fisher, or Fisher, however you want to pronounce it, would have been great, would have killed everything. Good thing is, there's some bugs here, like Dig is as strong as Earthquake in this game. That fairly early. I will be teaching Dig more than likely too. Need a run. As I'll take him as a Nido King. Now he doesn't get many decent moves in Gen 1. But I will teach him some things. I know you get the same type attack bonus and all that, but unfortunately that's not what I want to do. Now, I could go grind in the forest to be easier, but it's a playthrough. Not a Nuzlocke or anything like that. Just want to go through each stage bit by bit for you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Grinding slow, we don't like this. I hope you've all been having a lovely time. Currently, in my native country, it is August. This is boiling, which has only really happened last year or two. Normally, it's raining. It's like old school Britain. Obviously, we are uh, having fun because we're looking for a new Prime Minister. And to be honest, when you've got someone called... Trust, an MP called Trust, it's an oxymoron. Them two don't, words don't match together. Because you can't trust an MP to save your life. Drive to trust a convict to stay in my ass rather than an MP. And the other bloke, Richie Sunak. Cough. What can I say about him? He was, a cha he was our Chancellor of the money. Yeah, he still couldn't get us there, and yet now he wants to run the country. Okay. In my in my experience, if you can't do a job, they don't promote you to the next position unless you're sucking someone off. Well, to be fair, he does do. He probably is sucking someone off. But no, I I will keep politics out of this. I'll just make a few snarky comments because why the hell not? Freedom of speech and all. You'll see it also when I upload other things. Not just to the gaming channel, but to the main channel. I've got some new stuff coming along. There will be an update on that video. On my original channel. Oh. So, yeah. Great crit. You'll survive that. Go hill. It was so great when they got to Gen Three and gave you running shoes. It was a breath of breath of the breath of fresh air. If any of you is wondering why I'm stuttering or have problems speaking, I have a speech problem. I have actually um, I do stutter, part of my condition, and 
Also, I had speech therapy controlled and I'm dyslexic. So, sue me. and healed let's go back Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. that out a lot of that Ay, 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 ay. You guys want to know what I do in my spare time? I enjoy a lot of things. I actually enjoy wrestling. Um, I enjoy music. I'm very much into alternative rock and rock music. So, that. Yeah. I do listen to a fantastic group who I love singing parody songs of. Which, if you check my YouTube channel, you'll see my me singing along with them. I will admit to you right now, my voice is X Factor quality. So when you hear it, and I get a message off one of you to saying, I thought you should hear Jack Factor. I'll be like, I did. Didn't say the good kind. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, this is for me just so I can get writer's block off with the comedy. But you will see me. I will be appearing, hopefully, on Britain's Got Talent. I have applied. I'm waiting to hear back from them. So you can give me a, a follow and subscribe on all my platforms, which is TikTok. Instagram and Twitter, as well as my YouTubes. The more popular I get, the more likely they're going to stick me on TV. If you enjoy the comedy, if not, support me anyway. I will have a Patreon page set up sooner rather than later, but I'm a bit against it. As to be fair, ladies and gentlemen, I'd rather not just take your money for no reason. But if you'd like to donate. I'll be more than grateful. Don't feel obligated. If you can't afford it, please do not donate. I'd rather you be okay, money-wise, than help me out. I do have a full-time job during the day. Everything else is part-time. Hopefully, if I get successful enough, I will transition. Now, a level seven sphere law is not good enough to compete against a level nine Charmander. Now the other Pokemon are not strong enough. They will die in one shot. But who knows? Good shot. Okay. Okay, let's just check the levels. Okay, let's just check to see what Pokemon I've got. What I'm not feeling confident, ladies and gentlemen. Leer, that's good. If I can leer Charmander down, that'd be great. Pidgey only has Gust, so Pidgey's gonna have to do that. And Latata has Tawit. So as bad as this sounds, I'm going to go fight the rival now. I know Spiro's not strong enough. But if Rattata and Nidoran can get off Lear and Tower with each, it may be enough. Pidgey will be used as a sacrificial lamb to obviously heal up Spiro or Bulbasaur, depending on how it goes. I will try and leech Charmander. Hopefully Spiro can get enough 
damaging. Let's see how it goes. Now I know his levels and I know I'm not up to his levels yet. I'm just slightly under. But I have more Pokemon. Ready? Benjamin. There we go. Here comes Steve. Yeah, what's up, Steve? Yeah, I was having a look around to see if I can catch any more Pokemon, but why not? I'm Autumn. Well, how would how do you know that unless you tried it before me? Which I never understood. It's like he's like saying, Oh, you're not clever enough to go. What? Because you've already done it and they've told you, no, mate, sorry, you're not good enough either. You just try and save face, mate. Let's be honest. As much as you're going to try and save your face, you look better with a frying pan over the top of it. I always found that he was the hardest rival of any game to ever face. That I've obviously played. And to be honest, I've only really played through the first three gens. After that, not so much. Now, sand attack. Oh, oh yes, 256 glitch. Oh, speak of the devil. Great. Level 9, Pidgey. I thought it was level 7, Pidgey. Damn, that's a lot of damage, ladies and gentlemen. I underestimated my opponent. And evaded attack. Okay. I have one potion. Bulbasaur, please survive. I need you to survive this. Okay. I'm going to swap you out. I'm going to put in Spiro. Spiro should be enough, even though Spiro is lower level. It must be Charmander. That's a level 7 then. There you go. If only it's Gen 3. Pidget Spiro would have keen eye and this wouldn't be happening. Okay. <sighs> Bloody Pokemon. One more hit and we can call it a night night for this annoying Pidgey. Which Pidgey's always been a very annoying guys and girls in the Gen 1. Especially with Sand Attack. Now. Let's see. I will. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to just see how quickly I can whittle him down. Raptor, get in there. Level 8. Ah, oh, see, I was wrong. Okay. Raptor, all you've got to do is tail whip. Perfect. He just growls. That's it, keep going, mate. Right, has attack doesn't bother me. Just want to lower your defense and take you out. Oh, survive, good going, Raptor. Keep going. You're doing the job that I need you to do. Beautiful. Could have finished me, but nope. I'm gonna drop his levels as much as possible. And without any badges, he's nothing's gonna happen. Thank you, Redditor. Your job has been done. Now, Nidoran is next. He has our poem switch out for him. Nidoran do Lear. Hopefully, Nidoran survives this attack. Excellent. Well done, Nidoran. You've lived to your ability.
Get Pidgey to go in there, see if Pidgey can do anything. Now so I'm sacrificing all my Pokemon. That's fine. Lovely, and that's level 3 Pidgey doing that damage. That was a crit. Now if he goes to Growl. Yep. I think a crit will do it. Pidgey will go up a few levels. Will Pidgey kill it? Let's see. No. It's not a problem. We know Spearow can do the job. Spiro, pick it, end it, let's get this over and done with. Don't worry about the scratch, you'll survive it. And Charmander's down. 2 nil, Steve, 2 nil. How do you feel? I'm going to make sure I do everything in my power not to lose to you once. 17 speed, that's good. Defense ain't great, but that's fine. Tax great. We lucked up. You, we did. We lucked up, ladies and gentlemen. Poor Gen 1 AI. Well, I'll just beat you again. So I'm doing pretty well. And this is where I'll end it here, ladies and gentlemen, for episode 2. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all again on the next episode of FSB Plays Pokemon Red.